Evansville, Indiana, the site of the NCAA Division II Elite Eight. Drury making its second straight appearance after last year's championship run. Their opponent tonight is the most potent offensive team in D2 college basketball, the West Liberty Hilltoppers from West Virginia, averaging a staggering 102 points a game. Let's get to it. Hilltoppers open with a three. Cam Adams is there on the other end to impose his will. That's what Drury wants to do, slow down the Hilltoppers, not play their game. But every once in a while, they'll launch from distance. Lonnie Boga knocks down the first three for Drury. DU out to a 5-4 lead. But not for long. West Liberty likes to run and gun, and they love the three, hitting 12 and a half a game, but maybe using that to their advantage early, catching DU off guard inside the line. Kelvin Goodwin's jumper is good. Then here's the three. That pushes Liberty's lead to six. Panthers answer with a 9-0 run. Drake Patterson has that long distance plan. His triple puts Drury ahead one. The lead ballooned to as many as 11, but the Hilltoppers recover with an 11-2 run of their own to keep it a two-point DU lead at the half. 20 more minutes of basketball. That's Cedric Harris, recently named an All-American. He ignited the Hilltoppers to start the half, first getting to the back basket then setting up his teammates. Harris finished with 16 points. Liberty raises out to a nine point lead. Panthers digging in, needing a run. They're about to make one and once again Cameron Adams starts it. Slashes to the rim for the deuce. Ian Carter had a double double 15 and 12 and he finds Cameron Bundy just like that. The Panthers answer with their own 9-0 run. And that's just what this game was. Hot and cold, hot and cold. A style that typically favors West Liberty. One final run, and it was this man who got hot when his team needed it. Sager Bonafont, the sophomore, went in fuego in the final third of this game. Bonafont was a perfect 7-of-7 seven seven from the field, hitting all six from three. He ended with 20. West Liberty's final run was what sealed this game. The Hilltoppers, injury season with an 85-75 win. They'll advance to play the winner of UC Aiken and Chico State. Drury finishes its season at 28-4. It was kind of going back and forth and uh, they had another little segment and a, and a young, young man comes off the bench, makes six out of six from the three and uh, give him credit with their, their teamwork and ball movement. But, uh, you know, I, I'm really proud of these guys up here. Uh, um, obviously, um, you know, no one expected us to be here. Um, you know, we lost three outstanding seniors last year and, and uh, it didn't take real long for these guys to figure out that uh, uh, we played in front of the, the biggest crowds uh, on the road that, that, that our opponent are, uh, had for the year. And, uh, you know, these guys, uh, you know, had to, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, do things and, and be a team. And, and uh, so I'm just really, really proud of them.